Okay, well, a lot of people have been asking me, how can I use the MPK Mini uh, with Reaper to, uh, to uh, use the drum pads? And it's really simple. The thing you need to remember is that the drum pads map to individual keyboard notes. And so um, let me uh, turn on my synth here for a second. Uh, you've got middle C on the keyboard. Uh, this pad maps to two octaves below middle C. So if we drop an octave and drop another octave, this note and this pad are going to sound the same note. So what does that have to do with drums? Let me turn off the synth and turn on the drums. I can hit the keypad here and get a kick drum. Also, I could hit that C, two below C, and get the same kick drum. So, what do I use to capture those notes? Well, the easiest thing is to use Citala. So, Citala is a free download. Uh, it's available for Mac and, and PC. So, I've installed it here. And basically, Citala gives you 16 possible notes from the kick drum to the snare all the way up. And then if you want to get past eight, that's note eight is the high tom. You press the bank AB and that gets you to the higher, uh, the higher notes. You need to know that not all drum plugins uh, map the same way. The kick is usually on C2, but if you look at something like the very popular Stephen Slate drums, the kick maps to uh, C2, but he has four snare hits. So my point is, there's no standard for how the drums map to particular keys. Uh, no two drum systems are the same, so don't think that you can start with one drum system and then move to another. Now, if you um, are wondering just what to play, because most of us, I think, coming from guitar, sometimes keyboards don't really understand what a drum is supposed to do. What beats should it hit? So you can just Google you know, popular drum fills. And uh, Lander has some really nice content about you know, the 10 most popular drum fills and how to use them. So you get familiar with those. You learn their names. You learn how to program them. And then you can take off from there. And also listening to other music. The way I got started was I listened to Old Town Road, and I tried to pick apart what he was doing with drums and, uh, and percussion, and that gave me a lot of ideas, and that was really the start of how I started doing drums. But the last thing I wanted to show you here was how to use the arpeggiator to make a kind of a drum machine. What we want to do is go into the MPK program editor and go into the clock setting, set it to external. This will grab it from Reaper, and then send that up to RAM. Great. I'm going to go back to Reaper. I'm going to make sure that these still work. When I reset that, these got uh, set, so I'm going to change my octave on my keyboard down too. That should still work. I'm going to turn on the arpeggiator. I'm going to hold down and press the quarter note and the latch and the exclusive and now when I press these a chord of, uh, of notes like that, and I start recording in Reaper. It's going to grab. Now, it might be the worst drum machine ever, but it gives you a start. Now, the arpeggiator doesn't work with the pads. It only works with the keys. Um, and that's what I wanted to show you on how to kind of program rhythms and use the keypads to make drum beats in Reaper.